Hello, 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 welcome back to Hunter Tune. Today we're gonna to be working on my D16 Z6 uh, single cam motor. And uh, we're gonna be putting some uh, out of the ordinary parts into it. Uh, typically guys are gonna do the Viterra piston with either an Eagle connecting rod or like an H-beam connecting rod, or they'll opt for like the Speed Factory connecting rods, which are a little bit longer, which bring the piston all the way to the top of the deck. But in this build, if you guys um, haven't followed along with the parts that I was going to use into this thing, we're actually going to be using a PG-6 piston, which I believe is out of like an A6 or something. <clears throat> um, it is a floating pin, so I can still use like an H-beam connecting rod, but we're, they have a dome on the piston instead of a dish. The Viteras are great. Um, but I have done quite a few Viterra dished piston, low compression, single cam builds in the past, and they're just kind of not all that fun until boost comes in because they're such low compression. So like I said, we're gonna try the PG-6 pistons and see how it goes. Um, I've never done it before, so I mean, come along for the journey. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe if you guys wanna see this awesome little single cam project. Um, but these are the pistons that we're gonna put in. Like I said, they have a little bit of a dome to them. They're almost a flat top piston. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much the same construction as a Viterra piston. They're cast aluminum with the coated skirts. And uh, yeah, so like I said, we're gonna try these out and see if we can put a little bit more spunk into a single cam build because like I said, the Viterras, they're just a little bit, uh, they leave you wanting more. Let's just say that. Yeah. They tend to not be able to spool a turbo very well either because, you know, compression, making a little bit better all motor power is just going to help us um, once we add boost. And we have plenty of turbochargers to pick from here at huntertune.com, or huntertune YouTube channel. I got a bunch of them here along with a bunch of manifolds and stuff like that. And we are really going to be fine-tuning this little single cam. I really hope it holds together. I hope that the sleeves don't crack, and I hope that it can hold a head gasket. So uh, I'll talk about all the stuff that I'm gonna be doing that's a little bit different from my previous single cam builds. But first and foremost, since we're using the PG6, PG6 pistons, they're a factory-like piston height kind of setup, so it needs a stock length connecting rod. If I were to use the long rods that you use with the Viteras, the pistons would actually come out of the cylinder out of the top. So we have to use a stock length connecting rod. And with that, with that being said, we have to notch the block because the stock length H-beam rods will actually hit the bottom of the cylinder here. So we have to notch it out. And I'm just using a old Dotco is that what that says? Dotco air tool. Uh, my grandpa gave me this thing, I don't know, 15 years ago or something, a uh, really long time ago when I first built my, my very first single cam project. Uh, he gave me this tool, so uh, I'm forever grateful for that. And uh, we're just gonna go to town. This thing still has the original bit from like 15 years ago and it still works. And I think he used it for like machining blocks and stuff too who knows how long ago. So if you buy a good one, they do last quite a while. So uh, I'm just gonna finish notching the bottom of the cylinders out, and then we're also gonna have to notch the girdle here. I did take the motor and I got it like cleaned and resurfaced. That's the only thing I had the machine shop do is we just did a fresh surface on the deck and I just got it washed. Uh, but everything else I'm gonna try to do on my own here and show you guys um, hopefully a really awesome little single cam build, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I got the block all notched, and I just threw some old main bearings in here with some WD-40. And I'm gonna put the, put the crank in with one rod and piston at a time just to uh, see if it's going to fit and clear. So we are using a set of Max PP Poo Poo connecting rods on this thing. We'll see how they uh, hold up. 
if they're gonna hold up, uh, but they are an H-beam just like an Eagle or a um, Manly or whatever connecting rod do you guys wanna run. Um, so I'm gonna use this and I just have, like I said, I just put some old bearings in here to just get a guess of if everything's gonna clear. I did notch the girdle as well, or the, yeah, the girdle here, the main girdle. And this guy takes a lot longer to cut in my opinion because it's all aluminum and the bit gets clogged up a lot easier on the girdle. So that took me a little bit longer, but like I said, I'm just gonna kind of test fit everything real quick and see if it all fits. So let's check it out. do some foot drags but I'm not that good yet <laughs> uh, but I am practicing getting a little bit lower there's a hawk try to maintain a little bit off the ground here <laughs> got the shirt for Christmas and the whole family laughed at it <laughs> anyways um, I did get the bottom end kind of quick and dirty assembled just to check and make sure that I notched enough out of the block and I notched enough out of the girdle to clear the rod bolts and the connecting rod on the block so I just put some old bearings in here and I got one connecting rod this is the part that I notched the least and I did check some other cylinders already and everything is clear and good. And I just pounded the girdle on. I didn't tighten it, tighten the bolts or anything like that, but I just pounded it flat. And I'm just rotating it around, checking to make sure that the bolts are clearing. And they are. We got some clearance up there. You really don't need to, to notch a whole lot out of the girdle. Uh, I always go more than I need to. You know, it's just a thing, I guess, that I do. I just, because I don't want to do it twice, you know. Uh, the first time I ever built a single cam, I notched it, and I went, like, super, like, I didn't go enough, and then I had to redo it, and it literally took me, like, all day to notch the block and the girdle. Um, and having a good air compressor is really awesome. This, this still took me, like, two hours to notch the girdle and the block, but at least it's done. This honestly was, like, I hate, I hate doing this part of the build just because it's um, it's just time consuming and it's like not 
interesting, you know, it's not fun, you, it's not assembling, it's just prepping for the assembly, so. Uh, but everything is clearing good, and I did want to show you what these pistons are looking like with the Max Peating Rods D16 H-beam connecting rods at top dead center with the PG6 pistons. Look at that, that sucker comes all the way up to the top of the deck. Come on, focus. Look at that compression. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. I wanna say that sucker comes like maybe a mill out of the top of the deck. But she's a good old flat top with a little dome. PG6B pistons, that's what we're gonna run. Uh, don't mind the number three, I just grabbed a random one. Uh, me and my buddy actually measured the piston wall clearance on these pistons and they're actually really tight. Um, so there's one other guy that I did talk to that ran these pistons in a build and it cracked a sleeve at like 500 horsepower and I think it's because the pistons are actually pretty big and on a stock bore setup the piston to wall clearance is actually pretty tight. Um, I can't remember exactly what the piston to wall was, but it really, the uh, like a Viterra build usually slaps because they're loose. The PG6 pistons, probably gonna run really quiet. It's not gonna make a whole lot of engine noise, but you gotta be careful when you're tuning it because if you make a little bit too much power and they expand a little bit too much, it could end up cracking the sleeves. So, on this build, I'm opting to leave it open deck and I'm not gonna put a block guard or do DevCon or anything like that because I want the cylinder to have a little bit of movement, you know, in case these pistons are a little bit too tight piston to wall clearance. Um, and I do think like if the sleeve can move a little bit, it won't crack. If the sleeve can't move, it's gonna crack, you know, because it can't move. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna leave it open deck and uh, try to get the head gasket sealed as best I can. Probably gonna run it rich and uh, just, just try to play it safe. But the rods and pistons are able to fit into the block now and it's all notched and ready to go. So in one of the next videos, we are going to be probably re-honing the cylinders again. I'm gonna check over the crankshaft. We're gonna um, probably measure the crank and we're going to do a little bit something different with the bearing configuration as well that I'm excited to show you guys. Um, it's not just going to run standard bearings. I'm going to opt to uh, play around a little bit with some bearing clearances. And uh, we're really going to try to go tens in the quarter mile with this little single cam. So stay tuned, guys. Have a great night and a better tomorrow. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Uh, God bless. And uh, have a great night and a better tomorrow. We'll see you later.